Hello guys, this is Jasser Mustafa and welcome back to the Autodesk 3ds Max 2018 course. Fine, we have finished discussing the navigation tools, now we are going to discuss the transformation tools. The transformation tool is about selecting, moving, rotating an object, scaling up or down, and select and place now we are going to go through all of them and we can also consider the filtering of the selection keep in mind that we always use the shortcuts on the keyboard while using 3ds max in order to boost our production and make it faster so now let's go through the first option which is select select object the first technique to select an object is to click on that object like any other program now the second tool is let's say the selection by region click hold and drag you have five selection shapes rectangular circular freehand rectilinear straight line and freehand totally free which is a random line and the spray tool now if i select the first one and click hold and drag from right to left i will select any object i can touch fine from left to right it's the same in 3ds map if you remember from your experience in autocad or from your experience in revit if you select from left to right is different from selecting from right to left here you can make the same option in 3ds max but you have to go to customize and to go to the options of the program which is preferences and to tell 3ds max that you are going to select or to enable that option where you can find that general under general you have the scene selection here you have auto window and crossing by direction if you enable this it gives you two options right to left it's a crossing or you want the left right to be crossing like other programs right to left is the hidden window which is crossing what does this mean that means if i select from left to right i'll get the hidden line if you touch any part of the object to be selected if you get or the whole object also inside the selection it will also be selected if you go from left to right that means you will get a continuous when the selection that means you are going to select the only covered object if you touch it it will not select it. why we have this option here because we have another selection tool also that means you can convert between the crossing the sign and the window this sign the difference is the box inside the selecting region so even if you don't enable the preferences and the auto window and selecting you have the manual window and crossing select if this is like this the sign is for crossing selection you just touch the object to be selected you enable it so if you go from right to left or left to right it will wait until you cover a whole object so either you can select it from here or you can just make it automatically from preferences you can go to auto window or crossing make it right to left to match other programs and click ok now fine you know if it's a rectangular click hold and drag you have to draw a rectangle click hold and drag click hold and drag again circle center and radius click hold and drag you have to click hold and drag the first two points then like you are drawing a line in AutoCAD until you close it. Record and drag to the manual free, free hand. You have to click, hold and drag until you finish the shape that you need. Let's say that you don't want to select this one. So it selects the uh, bounded objects. And the spray, you click, hold and drag, it will select the object. These are the selecting tools. Another selection technique in 3ds Max is the select by name, this one. And the shortcut is H. If you click here, you will get the select from scene dialog box. In 3ds Max, the objects are organized under category, like any other pro programs. If you select none, there is nothing in your box. Select only geometries, you will have the 3D objects. Let's draw some 2D objects and cameras and lights. These are some lines, a rectangle, circle, and let's have some lights. One, two, three, four, and three cameras. Now we have multi-category objects. If you go to select by name or click on H on the keyboard, you have the categories on the tools here and you can select all, you will have all the objects. Display none, you have nothing. 
you only want to select lights these are the lights and you can just click and click ok it's a useful tool and you will use it many times during the working on uh, 3ds Lab. but because we have the project browser let's say which is the project explorer here you can go through all the objects from this file or from this part you don't have to go to select file name but if you miss this part you can just go to the uh, select file name and select from that part we can just click hold and run. you have all of these objects and you want to select all of the lights in the viewport only the lights if you select like this go back to the rectangle if you make this you will select all so there are two methods you have two methods the first one is to select by name select lights click hold and drag shift from the first one click, click, and do them all fine or multi selecting by control the second method is to make a filter you can just click the selection filter go to lights now whatever you select in the viewport it will ignore all the categories but it will select if you filter before selecting it will only select your object and what is the best thing about 3ds max for me it considers the selection a step forward so if i undo it will select the previous one and do again the previous one here also you can make a creation of a selection set for example geometry i want to make a selection set of geometry enter now if i release them and now let's say i want to select lights and i only want these three lights for example these, these are the spotlights in my design i click here a selection set and make spotlights and click enter and let's say that i want to select only one camera or two cameras let's say like this and these are for example the interior scene cameras interior scene and enter now if i deselect whatever and i work in the 3ds max for a while and then some of my colleagues said i want to select the, the geometries of for example the living area you can just go to this selection, selection list click geometry to select that set that's about the selection in 3ds 